Hello. In this video tutorial I show you how to make the most of the QCA Pro package documentation using the popular R Studio Editor. Now the documentation is an extremely important part of any R package and knowing how to find and interpret the information given in it is really essential for applying a package's functions effectively and efficiently. I also often see users of QCA packages um, making consequential mistakes in their analysis that could have been easily avoided had they consulted the documentation beforehand. After having loaded the QCA Pro package into your current R session by taking the package in the Packages window, the first important information you see in the console is the citation method, information for LaTeX users, a command that lets you browse the latest package news and a note about package conflicts that still exist. To enter the documentation of QCA Pro, simply click the package title in RStudio's package window. And here the link QCA Pro package. The general description of the QCA Pro package is followed by some details, my affiliation and contact information, and a references section with hyperlinks where available. The index link of uh, index link at the bottom of this page would take you to the help pages of uh, all the packages functions and the data sets that are included but you can as well press the left arrow. Let me also point you to an immensely helpful resource in QCA Pro here, the glossary. It can be accessed by clicking the link User Guides, Package Vignettes and other documentation. Now, the purpose of this glossary is simply to help you keep your orientation in the thicket of QCA terminology. For example, if you'd like to know what a prime implicant chart is, you'd find it here. The document also contains hyperlinks to related concepts, but also um, personal websites of mentioned authors and direct links to cited publications. But now back to the main documentation of the QCA Pro package. As an example, let us look at the help page of the EQMC function which is the function in QCA Pro that performs um, the minimization procedure. Now every help page in R essentially consists of a header and a body. The header gives a title, a short textual description and usage information about the documented object and the body provides further information about the function's arguments and its return value. The help page of the EQMC function is divided into nine sections. Description, usage, arguments, details, value, contributors, authors, references, see also, and examples. Although some sections are more important than others, I will take you through each of them nevertheless because almost all our help pages have exactly this or at least a very similar structure. After the title comes the description section, which explains in a few words what the EQMC function does. As mentioned before, this function performs the minimization and the acronym stands for Enhanced Quine-McCluskey Algorithm, although uh, it works quite differently from the traditional Quine-McCluskey algorithm. The usage section provides a synopsis of the function and lists all its arguments. If the placeholder for the value to an argument is a double quotation mark, as an outcome, then the argument requires a value of data type character. If this appears in conjunction with the C function, which stands for concatenate, also as an exofex uh, for exogenous factors, uh, then a character vector is either optional or even required. If the placeholder for the value to an argument is logical, i.e. true or false, as a neck out, 
then this value is the default path to the argument. For example, neck out equals false just means that the negation of the outcome is not used. If you want to use default values in your own analysis, you need not specify these again in your commands. Um, that default will automatically be applied when you call the function. If the placeholder for the value is a number, as in ncut, that's the default numeric value passed to the argument. What exactly the arguments listed in the section usage do is described in the section arguments. For instance, the first argument passed to EQMC, which is denoted data, must always be a truth table object or a suitable data set. In the detailed section, you find precise uh, information um, and a more detailed description of EQMC's functionality. This section is mainly used for extending the basic information from the description and the information from the argument section. For example, in the first paragraph, you are informed about the structure that datasets must have in order to be processable by EQMC. The next section is called value. and describes the function's return value. In the case of EQMC, the return value is a list whose individual components are explained briefly here, similar to the argument section. For example, the object resulting from a call to EQMC will also always contain the original truth table. The contributor section is a section I have inserted in order to give due credit to all people who were involved in creating and um, their specific, uh, creating the documented object and their specific roles in it. The authors section provides details about the author of the help file and the references section has the same function as in any other scientific document, namely to provide a full bibliographic entry for all in-text citations together with um, hyperlinks to these texts. Right after the references section follows a section called see also. Now this section um, simply points to R objects which are related to EQMC in some ways such as the, the parameter of, uh, parameters of fit function and the truth table function. And last but not least, the example section provides demonstrative examples of how to use the EQMC function and it also contains some methodological demonstrations for um, example this one that shows you why the conservative solution type in QCA is actually not as conservative as the name suggests. All objects listed in the index of uh, the QCA Pro documentation can also be queried directly from within R by typing a question mark followed by the name of the object. For instance, to get the documentation of EQMC, I could simply have typed question mark EQMC. That's essentially it on using QCA Pro's documentation and I would really very much encourage you to make extensive use of this documentation, not only because you often find important uh, help on a topic, but also because you may discover something interesting or useful for your own analysis that you didn't uh, think about before.